Welcome to Sassy Assassin Superpower Hour Snack Size Secrets. <laughs> I'm Kristen Rohan, and my latest episode is out where I answer the burning questions, how do you lift yourself up and how do you lift others up? And I wanted to just give a few quick tips that I don't uh, give in the episode and um, sing a quick tune from it <laughs> to get you all excited. Uh, and I'm inspired by this episode for several things. I saw Mamma Mia too, and I talk about that on the episode, and shared performance is amazing. Uh, yet another thing that really inspired me is I was at a wedding uh, in Australia this month. Yay, it was so beautiful. And um, and I had to physically lift myself out of a situation. And um, and so what happened was I was at my hotel. It was by the beach. And, um, and they have private access to beach, you know, right on the signs. And so I followed it and I went down to the beach. And then I thought, oh, I'll come back the same way and be, you know, really full of this, the, you know, beautiful beach and, and salty inspiration. And, um, and I undershot it and I, and I didn't quite get to my hotel. So I, uh, I thought, oh, I'll just walk on the train tracks, <laughs> but the train tracks go through. It's like, that's how everybody gets there. So it wasn't like I went out looking for danger and I thought, oh, I'll go out to the street and, um, and the train started coming and I, I was like, what are the odds of the train coming right now while I'm here? Well, hundred percent because this train started coming and it was literally coming like this. It was like, I mean, it, I would walk faster and I have short legs, so I don't walk that fast. But <laughs> um, as the conductor went by, he said, you know, and I thought, oh, look, it's Professor Zoom <laughs> and um, telling me not to do this. But, uh, but it was fine and I was fine and I waved to everybody and then I followed the train tracks out to the street and um, but the gates were locked. So instead of going back the way I came, uh, I, I said, oh, look, there's a chain link fence and it'll get me up to the platform. I could do this. I've, I've climbed a fence before. How, how, how hard could it be? Okay, so it was hard. And, um, <laughs> but I gathered all my strength inside and I just like believed I could do it. I think I can, I think I can, I know I can, I know I can, right? A little train humor. <laughs> and, and I did it and it was hard. But, um, but I got up on that platform and I gave myself a little cheer and I, and I felt invincible. And so, and, and that's part of what inspired this episode. So other ways that I lift myself up when there's not a chain link fence around is that um, <laughs> I use music and dancing. So I added playlists to these episodes so that you can listen to other songs around this theme and, um, and maybe give yourself a lift and, um, or have a, an impromptu dance party because uh, those, really, those really lift me up. Uh, I also take a walk on the beach. That's my happy place. Uh, but when I can't do that, every morning my alarm goes off and I snooze it once. And for those first nine minutes, I just think about all the things that I'm grateful for and excited for in the day. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for Professor Zoom, even if he doesn't want me to uh, climb chain link fences. <laughs> I'm grateful for my friends and the opportunity to travel. And 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 I and I'm not in a in a Pollyanna everything is rosy way. It's more of like. I want my life to, you know, be an endless summer, and to do that, I actively ensure that that um, that that happens. And so, um, and I think about what I'm excited about for the day, and that really that really helps. It really supports me. Uh, another thing that I do when I'm having a busy day or it's kind of gnarly is I put a an alarm on for 111 or 1111. And if you do any kind of manifesting, you know those are like magic numbers. And when those alarm goes off, when that when that alarm goes off. I just think about all the things that I'm excited about and grateful for, and same thing. It lifts me up and makes me really grateful. And um, I also, what I also do is I compliment other people. So if um, if I'm always on the lookout for um, inspiring people and inspiring things, and so I love to give compliments because not only does that lift me up because I'm finding something sparkly out there, but it lifts them up as well. And and who knows, maybe they pay it forward and they lift somebody else up. Uh, the other thing that I do is I wear something sparkly and um, and lift myself up every day. So whether it's a brooch or a beautiful kimono, these are my latest favorite. My latest favorite designer from New Zealand is uh, Kelly Co. and Augustine, and um, and those clothes really make me feel lifted up and authentic. And I really can put my best um, foot forward or my best uh, uke forward. <laughs> so how do you lift yourself up? I'd love to know. So before we leave, I want to just do a snippet of the song, Super Trooper, from um, ABBA and from Mamma Mia. Both movies, right? They did, they did it twice to show you what a great song it is. All right, enjoy. I was sick and tired of everything when I called you last night from Glasgow. All I do is eat and sleep and sing, wishing every show was the last show. So 
So imagine I was glad to hear you're coming. Suddenly I felt all right. And it's gonna be so different when I'm on the stage tonight. Tonight the super trooper lights are gonna find me smiling like the sun. Smiling, having fun, feeling like a number one. Tonight the super trooper beams are gonna blind me, but I won't feel blue like I always do when somewhere in the crowd there's you. <laughs> okay, the full episode is up on SoundCloud and on sassyassassin.com. Please let me know how you like it and, um, and what lifts you up. So remember to always step into your superpower and live your party. Cheers.